Hitler was born on April 20, 1889 in Braunau am in Austria. Hitler had a full sister named Paula, a half-sister named Angela, a half-brother named Aloy Jr., and four other possible siblings, Otto, Edmund, Ida, and Gustav. Hitler's father was Aloy Schickelgruber, and his mother was Clara Polsel. She was Aloy's daughter of his cousin. He was raised as a Catholic. He took singing lessons and sang in the choir at a Benedictine monastery. He liked sketching, painting, writing poems, and reading. He surrounded himself with books. He wanted to be an artist. He would go to the opera and theater with his only friend, August Kubizek. As a child, he was a good student, but at the age of 15, he had lung problems, so he dropped out of school, even though his mother did not approve. When Hitler was 18 years old, on December 21, 1907, his mom died. He said, it was a dreadful blow, particularly for me. I had honored my father, but my mother I had loved. He did not want to follow in his father's footsteps as a civil servant. After his mother's death, he applied to Vienna Academy of Fine Arts, but was rejected twice. So there he was, 20 years old, living on the street. He sold small paintings and postcards, but struggled to support himself. After living on the streets, he moved into a homeless shelter. Hitler joined World War I. He was not German. In fact, he was Austrian. His family had German roots. Hitler was a corporal in World War I, but he was wounded twice. Once, an exploding shell cut a gash in his thigh. The second injury, he was temporarily blinded by poison gas. He was a fearless soldier and was decorated twice for bravery. On August 4th, 1918, he was awarded the Iron Cross First Class, one of the highest awards a German soldier could win. Hitler joined the German Workers' Party in 1919. He led the Beer Hall Putsch, which was an action to overthrow the government but failed and was thrown in prison because of it. While he was in prison, he wrote a book called Mein Kampf which means My Struggles in English. Later, he wrote a second unpublished book. In 1932, Hitler ran for president of Germany, but as expected, he lost to Paul von Hindenburg. A year later, on January 30, 1933, Hitler was sworn in as Chancellor of Germany after making a deal with the previous Chancellor, Franz von Papen. In August 1934, President Paul von Hindenburg died. Hitler took over as President and Chancellor of Germany. Hitler cited Jews as scapegoats. He blamed them for anything and everything. Jews were rich or Jews were vermin. Jews were capitalists or Jews were communists. Whatever Hitler wanted to denounce in his speeches, he claimed it was Jewish. He called getting rid of the Jews and invading other countries would make a greater Germany. He was a very influential speaker and was good at making others feel important. People who met him always felt as if they were the center of his attention. He had tricks that helped him. One was a prolonged handshake. Another was a long stare into someone's eyes. Part of Hitler's success came from knowing what the other person expected. Historian H.R. Trevor Roper said that the medication that Hitler used were powerful poisons. He looked much older than he was, his left arm and leg trembled at times, and he had severe stomach cramps and gas. Eva Braun was Hitler's mistress. She was always by his side since 1933. They got married at about midnight on April 28, 1945. The day after they got married, they both committed suicide. Hitler's birthplace still stands today, but the Austrian government is still figuring out what to do with it. 
The building can only be used for government purposes. In 2011, the building was used for people with disabilities, providing a place for a group of people who would have been mistreated by the Nazis. Neo-Nazis wanted it to be used as a shrine or memorial to Hitler. If you met Hitler when he was 15 years old, you would have never guessed the man he would turn out to be. He just wanted to be an artist and go to Vienna to study about art. But unfortunately, his life took a different turn. And for that, he will always be remembered as the man who killed millions of Jewish people.